Hi, I'm Cayman Reynolds, and we're here in Hawaii watching Zach Heinzelman do what he does best. Checking some two-way mating nukes. Finding the queens, removing them. And over here behind him, you can see the new queen cells that are fixing to go in. Here's the first one. Big old fat thing. Ready to go to some beekeeper in the continental United States. Bringing in nectar. Pops her right on in. And there you have it. One down. 150 to go. 150 to go. Good brew right there. Moving the old cell. For those of you who don't know, these uh, plastic cups are made by Jay-Z Bees that you can get them pretty much on any bee supply. And there's this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's laying up a storm. All kinds of brood down in there. Bees hatching out as well, so so after you put her in, you just place the cells in just like you did before? Yep. And then this one, you get a clipping and a marker for some lucky customer. And this one you just gently grab her by the back. Make sure you don't roll her. Get a little bit of the wing up and just clip. Just a tiny bit off the back, huh? Just a tiny little bit. And that will stop her so if she does swarm, the swarm won't leave the yard. And then just a little dab. Dry. In the cage. All set. Awesome. And for those of you who don't know, uh, this year's collar is green for marking queens. And this is really important for knowing how old your queens are. And some customers want it and some do not. And it's just depending on your clientele what you do. But thanks, Zach, for letting us do this video.